This is my PlayStation 2. This is my Xbox One. This is my Xbox 360. And this right here is my PlayStation 3. And this is what I, what I like to call the Nintendo Shit Cube. And the reason I call it the Nintendo Shit Cube because it's a piece of fucking shit! The fucking shit! The original Nintendo Entertainment System sucked because he had to perform a certain amount of blowjobs on the cartridges in order for the games to work. And then... Nintendo... Uh, they release their second console the Super Nintendo. Now that was a very good. Now that was a good system. That was a very good system. Um, the games did not freeze, and the games they did not stop while you were playing. And uh, and then Nintendo they release. The third video game console, the Nintendo 64. Now that also was a very good system. It didn't have full motion video. It wasn't bad for 90s system. And then Nintendo releases their fourth video game console. The Nintendo Shit Cube. <laughs> now the reason I call it the Nintendo Shit Cube is because <clears throat> take a look at the fucking game. This is a Nintendo GameCube game. This looks like a fucking chocolate chip cookie. And plus... What the fuck? Graphics by ATI. ATI, my ass! Alright, the Nintendo GameCube, it has good graphics, nice hardware, all that graphics, all that hardware, they included the, they made the fucking system so small that you cannot even play DVDs on it. Now, the PlayStation 2, they sold more than the GameCube because it had a DVD drive. Like I said, the Nintendo GameCube, it has good graphics, good hardware, but the PlayStation 2 is way much more better than this god awful piece of shit. And plus, if you look underneath your GameCube, you see that it has a separate modem. The modem is sold separately. 
But in the PlayStation 2, it had a built in modem. Now, why the fuck would Nintendo make a modem for the Nintendo GameCube if you cannot play online multiplayer games? And now I would like to show you the Nintendo Shit Cubes wireless controller. This is the controller's wireless receiver. You just put it on the GameCube like this, as you would look like a, a regular GameCube controller. And You have to put in batteries on the back and press on and but even when you have the even when you have fresh batteries inside guess what the game sh the shit cubes wireless controller it's not good it doesn't even work The Nintendo Shit Cube, it costs around $120, do not buy, there are a lot of better things you can buy with that kind of money, and who would want to buy the Nintendo Shit Cube? Nobody likes it.